with just 24 hours and 50 dollars how much can we actually scoop out of the market now this thought came to me as i was sitting in my therapy class yes i still go to school my go-to chart when i have a small account is always gold because it's very volatile and on gold i can easily find really good setups and capitalize on them so i did open my gold chart and in three minutes during my lesson i did manage to flip the account from 50 dollars into 150 dollars i used the classic breakout strategy right over here i took advantage of the selling momentum that was approaching the trend line i knew that a lot of retail Retail traders like you and me were going to go in for the buys at the trend line but forgetting that the sellers had a lot of momentum at that level so they would want to push the market a little bit lower until they find a point of interest to continue with the prevailing trend so i took advantage of those sales and then we rode the trade down and the only bummer is i could not close the trade on time as i was admiring the profits that i had made within just three minutes of trading i ended up closing with just 70 dollars which is also not bad i mean the account was now sitting at 120 dollars and the good thing about it is the chart retraced a little bit giving me a good opportunity to enter again for the sales as we had not yet found a good buying spot so we did drop with the sellers to this level and i took a good 60 dollars at this point we were now sitting at a good potential buying spot for the prevailing trend to actually continue so i did take advantage of that too so what i decided to do instead of risking a lot is to just take four trades because i had to actually pay attention in my lesson right so that if the market kept dropping when i was not looking at it it would trigger my limits and i would still be in good profit now from around nine o'clock till lunchtime the trade was playing around until i was free enough to go on my laptop and actually analyze these charts so now before i actually show you how i ended up taking the account from fifty dollars to five hundred dollars within just 24 hours if you're new to the channel welcome we trade the nasdaq over here if you're returning welcome back here you know what's up don't forget to hit the like button turn your post notifications and subscribe to the channel because when we hit 20,000 subscribers i am going to be doing a little giveaway stay tuned for what it actually is now right onto these charts all right you can see that this is slightly after lunch time and the market has just missed all of my limits this is such a bummer what had happened is i had given the inner circle the same trades with the exact same limits and it just left all of us i did want to go in four more trades but then the limits were not triggered so i can see the good bullish momentum at this level it's a little bit of a risky trade but i do want it to go to this top part right over here so i'm going to add four more trades uh, to cover up for the limits that it just made because i already see the pressure the buying pressure is controlling this market so we're going to just ride it through if it does retrace a little bit i doubt it will go beyond the entry point that i already have since it could not even go and touch my limits right so let's just wait and see where the market actually takes us five hours later and currently i am in a mentorship session and the trades have moved absolutely well i am currently running at 118 dollars in profit and the thing is we are approaching a certain level which i cannot make a whole analysis of right now as i am in a mentorship class so i'm just going to add trades at this level and then we'll pick it up as soon as this class is done all right ladies and gentlemen a few moments later you can see that we have the market ranging at this level it's either going to break out of this range or it is going to drop back down i'm currently sitting at 160 dollars which is good profit i'm going to close my trades you can see now we have 345 dollars on the account at this point i just want to secure as much profit as i can before i actually go in really hard on the us indices which is nasdaq and us 30 right so we have close the trades and we're currently sitting at 345 dollars from just 50 dollars and let's just check out us 30 and see what it actually has to say all right so on the us 30 chart right over here i think i can get a really good entry at this level you can see that the market had broken out of the highs and is currently retracing the highs right over here at this level right if you remember that breakout strategy break and retest that i have been teaching in all of most of my videos right that's exactly a classical one we have it breaking out and you see it's gone back to the point where it broke out 
on the five minute time frame you can already see the bullish pressure you can see that large candlestick right over there and we have one minute for this candle to actually close what are we going to do we are going to go in for the buys right over here let me just put four trades no let me just add a little bit the margin is 50 let me make the margin 76 seven all right so the margin is just 70 dollars which is good we still have an amount to spend if the market retraces right we still have like 273 dollars so we're just going to let the trades run over here this is the classic break and retail strategy that i'm always talking about see the market broke out of the highs on us 30 it came back to retest it did not retest the highs that it broke it went below them to find a really good point of interest it got rejected at that zone it went back to the point where it broke out of and then that's the point where i want to buy now we're just going to wait and see what the market actually does we'll come back and check the market in a few minutes all right that's a few minutes later you can clearly see that on the five minute time frame we do have bullish momentum look at the level where it just broke right it was ranging at that level it broke out of it which is showing me that the buyers are very much in control of this market what do i want to do i want to add positions at this level right over here to do is i'm going to add three positions at this level right so we still have 250 dollars to spare a margin of 100 dollars right so we want to sweep the market to the top if it does retrace it can't go below that level that it just broke out of right it's going to just keep pushing to the top and currently we are in the new york session so the market is very much volatile in just a few minutes it's either going to go down or it's going to really go up to the top let's just watch and see Yes, sir. just as predicted we are up 75 dollars you can see that the trade played out exactly as we anticipated exactly as we wanted it to and it keeps just pushing to the top we almost just hit 90 dollars on this trade we're going to close a few of the trades in fact let me just close all the trades because there's no point holding it on such a small lot size right so we have 420 dollars on this account and i had given the trade in the inner circle us 30 buy as you can see right over here and we're up 70 pips right so we're just going to wait for a few more minutes and then i'll try and analyze the charts to see if i can get a really good setup again and then if i do we're going to come back and still try and flip this account we have 80 dollars left to our target of 500 so i'll still need to get one or two more trades because i love to trade during the new york session when we have volatility and like when it's now the asian session and the london session i really don't find good setups for me that's just like you know on me right so let's check these charts in a few minutes all right perfect i did see us 30 breaking out of this level guys you can see that we wanted it to break out it did break out and currently we want a retest the market cannot just move like tap water right comment that down below if you've made it so far in the video so that little retest is what i want to take advantage of right so you can see right over here this is where it retested up to so that will be my stop loss and then the target is the breakouts all of those resistance zones it was breaking out of let's just adjust the stop loss right over here so we're going to go in for the cells right we're going to go in for the cells just for that reason the market doesn't move like tap water it should retest and you can see that the sellers have started to step into this market let's go on to the one minute time frame let me explain that for you right we're going to just clear everything else so it's a bit clearer this is the one minute time frame so we're going to take this level right over here market where we have a lot of points right at that zone you can see that the market has clearly broken out of this level right let me just add another position Sellers currently are trying to step into this market and push the price lower but we already know that the prevailing trend is an uptrend but the market just because it does not move in a straight line has to retrace to breathe a little bit and then go back in the direction it wants to go to right now you can see that we're having this little zone forming at this level it just broke out of that zone it's going to it's giving me more confidence to add positions to this zone this is just a scalping way of trading you can clearly see i'm on the one minute time frame one minute time frame five minutes time frame that's all for scalping right so i'm just going in for a short period and i'm out of the trade so we want to target small zones right when you're scalping you don't want to target really large zones because it will take time for all of those zones to get hit so we want to mark up this little zone and that's where i want the market to get to right so i'll be looking at the candlesticks right over there and you can clearly see that we just have 16 minutes 16 seconds for this candlestick to close and it's already going down right we have 22 dollars we are targeting this level right over here on the one minute time frame but then we obviously won't just go out with 22 dollars that's too low right so we're gonna see if it hits this level and kind of like reject now it's approaching this zone 
right yes it has already hit this zone but we just have 23 dollars let's go on to the five minute time frame right it has touched this zone but on the five minute time frame i want you to see that it has not yet even moved anything so at that zone it might retrace on the one minute but on the five minute it will probably retrace at this zone right so we want the market to still drop further to retest at this uh, level that uh, resistance broken out turned into support so we're going to add a few more trades at this level right over here because it still has to completely retest that level on the five minute time frame it has broken out of the other level on the one minute time frame so we're going to just wait for this trade to play out all right we are up 36 dollars as you can see so the market is still just playing around kind of slow for my liking it has gotten to a point where it wants to retrace again again on the one minute time frame now if it breaks out of this zone then it's really going to keep going down uh, i don't know why it's just playing around currently we have 43 dollars in the account i would want i wanted to see a little bit of a faster move oh now it's moving okay we have 63 dollars right we have 63 dollars and the account is 470 could we hit 500 dollars with this all right 75 dollars all right i don't think we'll hit 500 all right we just have to close right now because it has gotten to that level where i was anticipating it so now just take into consideration the fact that we're trading on the one minute and the five minute time frame so the market can quickly go back against you or keep going down so it's wiser to take profits as fast as you can as soon as the market gets to the level that you want just quickly take your profits and look for the next trade all right so we do have 484 dollars has gotten to the point where i wanted it to get to so i really can't keep holding it even though it could still potentially go back down to the bottom but the retracement that i wanted it to, to make it has already made it on the 15 minute time frame 30 minute time frame right you can see that this is a good retracement and on the one hour time frame let me show you what it was retracing right you can see that these highs that it broke out of right and then it came back to the zone to retest the highs so i think it's decent enough i think 480 is almost 500 but if i do find another setup i will still come back and check if we can trade again all right beautiful traders i did find a really really interesting setup right over here you can see that on us 30 we did have this retracement that we had and we capitalized on it right let me mark it up now look at what gold is doing look at gold we do have gold breaking out of its all-time highs but it was also retracing at this level right over here you already know what i want to do right yes that's exactly right i want to take advantage of the little retracement i want to scalp it down so what we're going to start by doing let's just um go on to our 30 minute time frame you can clearly see the breakout over here right and then that's exactly the breakout that we have on us 30 and then the retracement so on our five minute time frame right over here we want let me just delete this right we want to trade this zone right we're saying that the market wants to break out of this level right let's go on to our one minute time frame it wants to break out of this level right over here and then we want to sweep it down to the bottom to the next level that's exactly what we did on us 30 right so without wasting so much time let's just go on to the trade let's just go into the trades right now i'm going to use 0 0.03 lot size on gold bull my battery is low i'm going to use 0 0.03 currently on gold because the account is kind of large now so there's no point of using a small lot size and we are scal our stop loss is right at this zone right let me see this zone here if the market gets to this level if it breaks out of it we're already leaving the trade because that's no longer retest right and then if we look on the chart it's just like seven dollars i'll be losing like seven dollars which is good right not bad not bad so you can clearly see that the market is moving and it's broke out of that level we want the market to close outside of that level right so i can add positions so we do have 22 seconds left for the candlestick to close if it does close outside of this level within the next 13 seconds i'm going to add positions because the sellers would have broken that level and have stepped into the market and still want to continue pushing the market Ooh, it's going up Ooh. oh it's, it's it closed inside did you clearly see that this is why i always say wait for a break and a close right you see it broke out it did not close outside of it i can't add positions at this zone there's a chance that it is just a rejection at this level and the market might just decide to keep pushing up to the top so what i want to do is to wait for the next candlestick to see if it actually closes outside or inside of the zone and that's it it has closed inside you can see it has closed outside you can see at this zone right it did close outside of that level so i'm going to add a few more trades to this market 
that's a good confirmation for me it broke out of a certain level and then it's closed outside of it showing that the sellers are in control of the market i want to see a continued push to the downward side right I can clearly see that yes we have hit our 500 dollar target i am closing these trades i'm not even playing with y'all i'm closing these trades because you can see that the market has gotten to this level right if we go on to our five minute time frame that is a complete retest to me it's risky to trade retests because you don't know when the market can just reverse and decide to keep going up to the top but as for gold you can clearly see that it has gone back to the highs that it had broken out of and there's a chance that it can just start buying from this level so i can still be in the trade at this level right let's see on our 15 minute time frame let's see the five minute time frame let me see if i can see a good setup i can already see the potential trend line that's over here right so the market can buy from this level and keep going up to the top so i don't want to be in the trade still right now with 500 dollars in the account i am so ready to trade nasdaq and obliterate it but if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit the like button turn on your post notifications and subscribe to the channel you feel me with that it's been tino and i'll see you in the next lit video peace